McGee Wolf here with the Wolf Group. I wanted to send a message out today talking about how to determine when you should lock in your interest rate. We are at an amazing time in the mortgage industry with interest rates never having been lower in the history of interest rates. So there are many people that are refinancing their homes, uh, many people purchasing homes, and it's really an exciting time uh, to where you can uh, manage your, your home finances uh, and the, the mortgage in particular uh, extremely aggressively. So it's an important question. When should you lock in your interest rate? And I'll be the first to tell you that uh, if anyone has this down to an, a science, they are multi, multi billionaires because no one can accurately predict the market consistently over time. However, there are some um, elements to it that make it somewhat predictable. But uh, nevertheless, the biggest component that are or the biggest message I'd like to get across is uh, over the years I have found that uh, it's a pretty emotional thing for many people. And the, the, the emotion that is associated with the joy of getting a lower interest rate really pales in comparison to the angst or agony, so to speak, of getting a higher interest rate if someone waits to lock in. But nevertheless, let's take a look at uh, the market as it's been for the last several months to help maybe explain a little bit more of the nuance of how we do what we do. So let's take a look at the graph. Okay, so for those of you that have watched some of my videos before, you'll recognize this period back in uh, March and April of 2020 when the uh, market was absolutely crazy. COVID has hit, had hit, and all of the investors were um, all over the board. And the Fed was inter interjecting, trying to uh, calm the market, which they effectively did. Look here through April, May, June, and July, and August. The market's been stable, but right here, in the beginning of July, interest rates began to go down even further. And we are in a remarkable time right now of, of very low interest rates. They've never been this low. And uh, green is a good thing, where in this curve that's moving in an upward direction means that rates are going down. So when you ask yourself, at what point should we try to apply historical um, references to determine when we should lock the interest rate? Well, if you look at this top line right here, this is a resistance band. And we have really come right up against it right here on Thursday. The market opened on Friday, uh, August the 7th, and uh, the market lost a little ground. So in my opinion, that, um, you know, this happens a lot when you go right up against those resistance bands. Um, in fact, w the resistance used to be right here, and we busted through it, and I was watching it really carefully, and then the market began to turn a little bit, and right here on Friday, we lost a little ground, as I said. So um, this may be a good indication that it's time to uh, go ahead and lock that those interest rates in uh, right here. But as soon as uh, I say that, Monday morning, they may go even lower still. So uh, everybody's in a total win situation here. If, you, if you've locked anywhere in this band, of time or this, you know, this three, two or three weeks right here, uh, you have uh, done very, very well. And I applaud you. All right. So that's my biggest message to you is that when all the numbers work for you, I would just go ahead and lock unless you have some specific insight into the future that you think it really is worth the gamble, which is what you'd be doing, that uh, interest rates would go down. 
And if they do go up, you have to be comfortable with that reality if it becomes a reality. But uh, I hope this video made uh, a little bit of sense to you and it was helpful. Please subscribe and uh, share this with anyone else that you know. Uh, we would appreciate that very much. Take care and have a great day.